Hello and welcome to the Coding Bytes. I am Abhishek Parmar and today in this video, I am going to answer a very important question that is how many languages you should learn for cracking any company. Whether you should learn C, C++, Java or Python. So we will discuss about this in this video. But before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update. Now before telling you the answer, let us first understand whether I am eligible to answer this question or not. So till date, I have cracked 5 MNCs and now I am working as a software engineer. So based on my personal experience and whatever I have heard from my friends who are working as a software engineer in some of the top MNCs like TCS, Infosys and Bivro, you should learn at least 2 languages to crack any MNC. Now some of you may say that I have a friend or senior who have cracked this or that MNC with only one language. So let me tell you one thing, anyone can crack any MNC with only one language. In fact, one of my friend has also cleared TCS Capgemini and some other companies just by learning a single programming language which is C. Now you might be thinking, then why I am asking you to learn two languages when you can do the same by just learning a single programming language. So the reason is very simple, if you learn any one programming language, let's say you first learn C. Now in the hiring process of most of the MNCs, you will have an online test or coding test you can say and MCQ test and a technical and HR interview. So in the online test, you will have MCQ round and here you can get basic C programs and you will have to just tell the output. So here if you know C, then it is easy for you to clear this MCQ test by just applying your logics of C language. But if you get a coding question in the online test, then it is easy to code these programming questions in Java, C++ or Python as compared to C. Now there are many reasons behind this. One of the simplest reason is that you have good amount of libraries in C++, Java and Python. That means to find a minimum or maximum number in an array, you will have to write the logic on your own if you are using C language. But in case you are using Java, Python or C++, then you can use predefined functions and you do not have to write the entire logic on your own. So the first point is clear that you should learn at least two languages. And your first language should be C language. Now you might be thinking, if I can do the same thing in C++, Java or Python, then why only C? So just now I have told you that there is a MCQ test before your interview, so you can clear the MCQ round very easily if you know C. And the other reason is that in C, you don't have much predefined functions like you have in Java or Python. So let's say if you have to find the factorial, then you will have to write the logic on your own. And because of this, you will be clearly able to understand the logic and build the logic on your own. So for building logic to solve any program, you can use C. Now let's see what should be your second language. So there is no restriction on which language you should learn after learning C. But according to my personal experience, you should learn either C++, Java or Python. Because all these three languages are object oriented programming language. And in these languages, you have concepts of classes and objects and many more other concepts that you should know before going for the interview. So I hope you might have understood that you should learn two languages. The first should be C and the second can be any object oriented programming language but C++, Java and Python are very popular so you should learn either C++, Java or Python. And if you ask me which language you should learn so I would recommend you to learn Java. But remember a very important point that language is not a barrier until and unless companies specifically mention that you should learn only this language like Java, Python or any specific language. I hope this video was informative and helpful for you. If you want to ask me anything, you can comment below or you can ask me anything on Instagram. The link is given below. You can also join our Telegram channel for latest job updates and placement resources. You can visit our website prepdrive.in. The link is given in the description box. Thanks for watching.